What's up guys, it's me, Isa here again, and we're going to play further with The Walking Dead. <coughs> um, oh yeah, it did save, okay. I was worried it didn't save, but I clearly did. I don't think that uh, today's video is going to be long, because I have to leave in like around 45 minutes or something. So yeah. I thought maybe I could do like a little recording before I have to go. Um, so did I already fix the radio? I think I did. Wait, what happened? What did I ever do? Who? What are you messing around with there? Oh the no, radio. I did not fix I the radio. Work, oh my. Here, oh. let me have a look. But here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Oh, shut up. I don't like you. <laughs> like, I thought it saved here, but clearly... It didn't save here. I can't. I can't think about them in here. <sighs> oh, now it's saved, didn't it? I just needed to wait a little longer. Have you heard from Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. She's such a sweetie. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay. This door leads to the back alley. Mm hmm. But first aid kit. My pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Sector, at least. There's a photo over there. Pick it up. Oh my god, it's you and your family. Oh my god, that's so cute. You just ruined the picture. Find I'm anything? Sorry. Track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. What? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid Whoa. attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. I like Cardi. The first aid kit. Noise. 
Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> his canes protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. That's normal. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Not? Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Wow. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Of course, everyone loves their family. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. I'm sorry, I left our friendship already. Ow! Oh my god, you okay? Oh no! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Wait, I can... the remote to my dad's TV. <laughs> She's bleeding. It's the remote. Let's turn the TV. That's what I figured. Of course it doesn't work. Lee? What? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, They'll find us. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. I thought it was the remote. Was I thought it was the remote. Yes, please. I thought it was the remote. <laughs> Sorry if I still talk 
So off speak Dutch, I'm sorry. It's an automatic automatic reaction. Okay, let's open the door. It's locked. Of course. We need it's to locked. track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Do I wanna talk to her? No. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay, well, um, the key's not here because we already checked everything. Of course, we're gonna Wanna exit head back then. Into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yes? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Let's just no, be honest with her. He wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Wow. <clears throat> hey there. Uh, this is Glenn. Oh, Glenn. And uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're going to talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got oh. family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Yeah. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Well, first, we still need to get into the pharmacy, don't we? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> sure. I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Yep. Jesus. Whoa, it's already night, seriously? Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days disgusted. before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay, we can look around now. It's a combination lock. Be Everett, manager. Oh shit! What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? Yes, that's I'm what I'm he saying. Might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody. You know it. Start rotting and get all chewed up and shut up, Doug. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. No, 
I'll see what I can find. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? No. Just a few seconds. <clears throat> Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. Did they die? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Okay. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still Yeah, on. right. You can do that. You can just do that? He's just typing in some buttons. Let's try. He's just pushing in buttons. Wow, okay, yeah. Well sure, fucking whatever. done, Doc. All that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. Seriously, that. Doc, anything? you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Oh my. Did anyone ever have it? Gosh. Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Yeah, but how do we uh, how do we get the lock open? Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. We should think about searching that guy across oh, the street. I don't mean Maybe he has some, but who knows if he actually worked here? Oh. <sighs> Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Hmm. I think we need to go back inside, don't we? Let's head back inside. Okay. I literally don't know what the code could be. <clears throat> okay, does someone know the code for the outside? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Again, yeah, no, not. that's not gonna happen. But okay, Carly, notice your concern. Talk to Carly. Hey, Carly. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. 
You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. No, it's kind of cute. Don't. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? What? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> you ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Let's go. I think uh, that Glenn knows the combination. Yikes. Oh, an RV. Where's Glenn? Did you see that? Sure did. You ready to shoot? Is Glenn in there? Hello? Oh, yeah. Okay, he's in there. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. So who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. Can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm safe. Yeah, actually. <laughs> without you. Think about it if it was you. <laughs> let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. I don't know if I want to. Oh, wait, do I need to do something? Hello? Oh my god. Sorry. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Ooh. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Do I? Uh... Oh, well, that doesn't really matter, does it? How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Their groaning attracts the others. Oh, wait, wait, wait! There's a pig in the truck. Guess we have to break it. Ow! Hey, man! That drew some attention. Be careful. Yeah, well, I don't know how to get it, okay? I'm not 
sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Oh, I don't know what to do. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. They really want to get into that room. They really oh, want to get into so that room. Okay, so we need to go to the truck. And we need to get that thing. But how do we get that? That's the question. I'm done trying to punch out windows. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Yeah. Wait, we can. No, we go to that. I don't want to that. Like, that's the same thing. I don't want that. Sorry, I really don't know. I need to search it up. <laughs> Wait, I think I know it. Okay, well, first of all, we need to, fuck, we need to go back. <sighs> okay, so now we need to grab this. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply guy. I might have an idea for it. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Okay. Then I got one pillow and two corpses. An age old problem. So what, that's not a good idea? Oh my god, I'm like... Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's go over there then, again. <laughs> gonna do with that I don't really know do you have any tricks for getting into cars not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows It's not saving? Oh, that's saving, okay. Um. Well, I guess I'm gonna leave with that. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for the short video, but, like, I've gotta go. Um. I think I'm gonna record tonight one more video, but I don't know for sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll talk to you all later. Bye!